Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we'll be learning about event handling. All the actions that we perform on a web page, like clicking, double clicking, hovering over elements, all these are considered as events in JavaScript. Whenever an event is triggered, an event handler function is called. The handler function specifies what web page has to do when that event is triggered. Let's see how we can bind an event to an element. First way is using bind method. To use bind method, we have to use this syntax dollar selector followed by dot bind, and in dot bind, we have to specify three arguments. First one is event type. In event type, we specify the type of event which we want to trigger, like click, hover, key down, double click, all these are JavaScript events. Next is event data. If you want to supply any data to the handler function during triggering that event, then we can do it using event data argument, but this is an optional argument. Next is handler function. The operation which we want to execute each time the event is triggered, we specify that, that operation inside handler function. If you want to save ourselves from using bind method, we can do the similar things using event methods directly. For example, using click method, we can use dot click to trigger click event and handler function inside the brackets as arguments to specify the operation we want to perform on click trigger. Next thing is how we can remove event handlers. So to remove event handlers, we have dot unbind method and in unbind, we have to specify event type and handler function. Handler function is again optional. In handler function, we need to specify the operation which we want to perform after the event is unbinded from that element. Let's see all these things in action in our practical. Here in our web page, we have h1 tag containing event handling as its content. We have an anchor tag containing a link with a target with the class link mod and with some text, I am a link, but I don't link anywhere. We have a paragraph which says click me to toggle class. We have included jQuery from code.jquery.com CDN. In our script tag, we have written $p. So we are using selector $p. So we are targeting this element and we have used dot bind method to bind click event to this paragraph. And on click, we want to run this handler function which says $a dot toggle class, which is this anchor element. So we are toggling class I am red, which we have defined here and it says color red. So when I click on para on this paragraph, the color of this anchor should turn to red. Let's see how this works. When I click on this paragraph, the color of this link should turn to red. So we can see that the color changed to red. Now, if I again click it, the color will again change to as it was before. So this is how we can add event to elements using dot bind method. Now, similar thing can be done using event method. So let's comment this out and remove comment from the click method. Here we have written dollar $p same selector which is this one and we are directly using dot click method and inside it we are writing the function dollar a dot toggle class i am red so we are changing the color of this anchor tag let's see how this works i'll refresh this again when i click on this paragraph the color of this link should change so we can see that dot bind and dot event works exactly the same way now the third thing is we can also remove the event listener. So we are using dot dollar p dot unbind method. So this event which we have bound to paragraph should not work because we have removed it using unbind method now. So now when I click on this paragraph, nothing should happen. Let's refresh this once. Now when I click here, we can see nothing is happening. So that's how bind unbind and event methods work. Thank you.